One problem. My team is now being required to work from home. I've never worked from home before. What do I need to do to remain positive and productive? Two things to remember. One, expectations of you and your team may be slightly different in a remote scenario. So be flexible and open-minded to any changes that are asked of you. Two, your leaders and organisation will be conscious that your circumstances have changed and will be putting things in place to offer support and reassurance. Three practical tips. One, time management at work is key, even more so when working from home. Plan your day and put a structure in place to schedule tasks and fulfil responsibilities. Two, when working remotely, things that normally happen organically, such as chatting to colleagues at the water cooler, may not take place. So be proactive, make deliberate plans to keep in contact with colleagues, managers and external contacts. Three, make an effort to be visible in a remote environment. If that doesn't come naturally to you, be more forthcoming in offering advice and asking questions. Four do's and don'ts. Do keep yourself informed with what's going on internally. Information is less likely to come to you informally, so seek out updates and news. Don't let your standards slip. Approach the day in the same way that you would have done if you were going into the office, such as sticking to your normal morning routine. Do consider putting a lot of structure and discipline in place at the beginning. You can always start to ease back on this when you become more used to the situation. Don't expect your leader and colleagues to be able to pick up on your thoughts and feelings as they used to. If you have issues or questions, ask them. Five things to try. One, when communicating remotely, do so via video. As a communication format, it's the closest to face-to-face -face communication and will help keep you connected. Two, try to schedule as much as you can. You're not able to physically drop in on people's time, so book in meetings and conversations, whether formal or informal. Three, get absolute clarity on your role and responsibilities to ensure that whatever you're doing is on task and appropriate. Four, it is important that you continue to get reward and recognition for your efforts. In order for this to happen remotely, you may need to be more proactive in communicating your achievements. Five, be positive about the situation. It should be seen as an opportunity to do things differently and it may increase your productivity and allow you to explore different skills.